Today's Parenting SOS, we are talking about how to talk to your kids about drugs and alcohol. Now, data shows overall alcohol and drug use by teens is going down, but parents, you're not off the hook. You still have work to do in talking with them. You're looking here at some statistics from the National Institute Institute on Drug Abuse and it shows 22% of eighth graders say they've tried alcohol. 61% of high school seniors have tried it. We have Heidi Wallace, the clinical director with the Hazelden Betty Ford Foundation here. So Heidi, as we we're saying, good news that the trend is going down, but parents really do need to take this very seriously and, and talk with their kids. Absolutely. And as the trend is going down for illicit drugs, alcohol, and nicotine, it stays pretty stable for marijuana. Mm -hmm. And so in our state with the legalization of marijuana, um, we don't know what that's going to happen, what's going to happen in the future with that, but it's definitely something to look at. And you're, you're saying kids are are being exposed to alcohol and drugs at younger ages too because of social media. Absolutely, social media, screen time, the amount of screen time that kids are on. You know, I'm a mom. I have a preteen and a teen, and I absolutely am both an addiction professional and a mother and know that this is a topic that comes up quite often and at a very young age. And there's, it's never too soon to start talking to kids about it. And as that conversation goes on, do you want to share personal experience? My son asked me the other day, what's the worst thing you ever did as a kid? Absolutely. <laughs> I didn't go there. Um, but I just, um, I wonder how much honesty that you, is the, you know. Yeah, that is the first question I'm asked as a mother. So my other mother friends, knowing I'm an addiction professional, go, what, what do I say, what do I not say? And what the Hazelden Betty Ford Foundation's research has found is that Openness and honesty is important. Often parents want to hold back what they've done, but that's actually an opportunity. You know, talking to our kids honestly without glorifying it, but mm -hmm. saying this is what I did and this is what I learned and these are the risks I faced and um, so that you don't have to have those same situations. So er, very upfront, it, you know, if you tried alcohol at a young age, that's something you do share with your Absolutely, Child? I think talking to your kids because what you're creating is an honest and open dialogue. And so when they do get to that point where they're starting to um, wonder and start to ask more, they're starting to feel social pressures, they're going to come to you. You're going to be the first person they come to. So aside from saying, no, don't do drugs, don't drink because it's bad, <laughs> I mean, how else do you get that message across if you don't want to share a personal experience? I mean, how Absolutely. real do you get with them about the consequences and the side effects of using? You give them the facts. I mean, they, we know that research shows that if you tell them the facts about the effects of alcohol and drugs um, and you go to websites, you know, such as Hazelden Betty Ford or you go to SAMHSA's website or NIDA's website, which are um, give parents facts about how to talk to your kids and just say the facts and what the what the results, you know, what can happen. Facts in terms of physical damage. Mm -hmm. You know, early onset of marijuana use mm -hmm. shows that that does kill brain cells, you know, and what that does and what kind of, how does that delay, you know, education and, you know, um, just everything related to yeah. what kind of impact that'll have on you. So. Well, thank you so much for coming in again. Heidi Wallace with the Hazelton Betty Ford Foundation. Some great tips. Thank you. Thank you.